What is up guys, it's your boy at DFS Jimmy and in this video I'm going to be previewing the new Fanshare lineup generator, walking you through how it works, how to use it, and uh, hopefully a helpful video uh, for a brand new tool from the guys over at Fanshare Sports. So uh, right now we are, and this is a pro tool, so we are over, are over in Fanshare Pro, so we're all the way over in the Fanshare Pro tab. And we're in Ownership Trends, which is your standard landing page. And once you get here, you'll notice a column that's a little bit newer. It's called FV. Uh, I think it stands for favorite. Uh, but it's just it's to select your players to add them to your player pool. As you see, I've already got some guys selected. You can sort this list however you want. As you guys well know, uh, I like to expand it to have all the 500 players. I'll sort it by DK dollars, and I'll select some guys uh, and you know go down through the list. But... Uh, I've already got my guys selected. I don't want to waste too much time here. So we're going to jump right over to the lineup generator. But real quick, just to, you can add and subtract guys by just clicking their star and then unclicking it uh, if, you, uh, if you don't want to select them anymore. But we're going to jump right over to the lineup generator. And all those players I've selected are down here. As you see, and in the lineup generator, you got the player, you got your DK salary. Uh, this, uh, this I think, is nice for making your decisions quickly. Is you got their projected ownership right here in the same screen next to the ownership where you want to put input your desired exposure, and then it, it spits you out your result uh, and you know what it was able to generate for you. Starting at the top, though, uh, the defaults for this tool are 30 lineups. Uh, I only want to generate 20, so I'm going to I'm going to knock that down to 20, and it, it the Default is a $1,000 range between $4,900 and $50,000. I want to make mine, because it's the open, I want to make mine like $4,800. Give it a little more room to play with. I don't mind leaving some salary on the table in the open, a lot of variance. So another tool, I'm not going to use it this week, but I do want to explain to you and let you guys know. Uh, so if you're, if you're building some really chalky GPP lineups or you want to be really conscious about ownership of the total lineup, you can set the parameters here so that you only have a, a minimum and maximum um, total ownership range for the lineup that the generator will factor in for you. So if you want to build some uh, really contrarian GPP lineups or something, you can set this at really low uh, maximum targeted ownership. Um, if you want to build, you know, et cetera, et cetera, you can kind of target this however you want. But know that this tool is in there for you to set that range on total lineup ownership if you want to factor another filter range in. Uh, but it, as we move down, a couple of things that have to work for the generator to work. And I'll explain to you how the generator thinks as well. but. Uh, you have to meet. You have to be at 600 total ownership. Your total percent of exposures for all players must be 600. Right now we're a little over that, so I'm going to adjust a couple of guys down. So we see we're at uh, 620. So we're just a little high. So we need to take 20 20 points of exposure off of a couple of guys, and then the sum of our golfers. So our golfer salary times their exposure percent has to equal less than 50,000. Meaning it has to. We have to be asking for valid lineups, right? If we're asking for lineups that that, that you can't enter into DraftKings, we don't want to factor those in. So this filter allows the, the algorithm to toss that out and tell you that, hey, you need to uh, you need to raise your exposures on some of the low-end guys or lower your exposures on some of the expensive guys to fall under the $50,000 salary cap here. So we're going to do that. I'm going to, let's take 10 points off of Dustin Johnson. So you see that just Dustin Johnson was the one throwing off our salary. So now we're, we've met our salary criteria, but we still need to meet our exposure criteria. So we'll go down to Stenson, who is my highest exposed player, and we'll bring 10% off of him. And now you see that uh, those are gone. And we have our Generate Lineups button is green. So I'm going to go ahead and click our Generate Lineups button. And boom, just like that. Uh, it generates all our lineups and interesting so Fanshare has when they built this tool what they wanted to do was they wanted to give the user a way to know how accurate their exposures their desired exposures were how were we able to meet what they wanted and in this case um, I've got my exposures set their balance between the high end and the low end and a lot of mid-range so I have the computer has a lot of options to be able to meet my demands and in this case it was 90 percent accuracy for what I asked for. So I'll scroll back up and we'll see where where the computer defaults to add some more exposure to make, to make up um, my criteria and to generate us a valid result. So the two ways, that, the two things that the, the algorithm will prioritize a little more than others is your, your heaviest exposure, so your favorite player. Uh, in this case, it's Hendrick Stenson. I have him as the highest exposure player, 50% of my lineups. In order to meet you know, to, to generate 90% accuracy, it, it bumped him up by 15% to give me 65% exposure. And it does this, it bumped him up instead of bumping up Patrick Reed, for example, because Patrick Reed's not as important to me. He's only 40% ownership. So I because Stenson's the most important player to me, 
uh, the, it defaults to add a little bit of exposure to him. Then what the computer does, the second most important thing to the computer is the most expensive golfer in your player pool. So if, um, in this case, it's Dustin Johnson, he's the most expensive, which, you know, by, you know, the logic is that if he's the more expensive golfer, he is better equipped to win this golf tournament, has higher win equity, et cetera, et cetera, lower odds. So what it will do is it will go from your favorite golfer to add a little bit of exposure to make the, the algorithm work, and from there, it will go by price to the next to the to the most expensive golfer or the lowest odds golfer in your player pool. In this case, it's Dustin Johnson. So we see instead of getting the 30% that we asked for, it bumped it up and gave us 45. And then from there, everything else we asked for, we pretty much got 30% Ricky, 30% Brooks, 20% Sergio, 20% Tiger, 30% Day. You see everything else as we go down, it's like right on, right? And then the, at the very bottom is where it takes a few points away from guys that are not as important, because you notice it didn't take any points away from St uh, Stuart Sink, who we have here at 40%, we got 40%. Uh, same thing with Zach Johnson and with Brent Snedeker. So the, the algorithm prioritizes your exposures, then price, in order to meet your demands. So you see where it took away some ownership to make everything work, is it took it away from our low end guys, our low low priced guys and our lower uh, exposure within that pricing tier. So it took 10 points away from Matthew Southgate, took five away from Matt Jones, uh, took five away from Kucher, 10 away from Adam Scott, and that's where we find our blend and we found and we achieved our 90% accuracy. So that's a little bit of how the algorithm works. So if you find yourself getting a crazy result where you put in 30% of the DJ and it, it spits you out 75%, uh, that's an indicator that you need to add some more exposure to the lower end. I'm um, sorry, or add some more exposure to the to the upper end or middle end so that it can round out those lines better and fill the salary cap. But uh, it, you just need to play with it and, and tweak it, but you do need to give it options. Uh, if you put you know, too small constraints on it, it will inflate all your ownerships because it doesn't have enough players to draw from to, you know, to meet your demands. But now that we know how it works, let's look at the results and what we got and what we can do with it. So first of all, this is, this is maybe my favorite thing in the, in the whole lineup generator is this is, uh, it highlights a player for you. So if I click Dustin Johnson, it highlights all the lineups that I have Dustin Johnson in. Now, if I wanna see the lineups that I have Justin Johnson, Brooks Kepka, and Zach Johnson stacks. I can click all three of those names and as I scroll down, each player gets a different color highlighting. And you see that I don't, I don't actually have one lineup that has all three in it. I, I only have some stacks with ZJ and DJ and, and Brooks isn't in there with, uh, with any of them. Actually, Brooks, I don't have a single lineup that has Brooks and Zach Johnson in it. So that's an easy way for me to say like, oh, wait, I might wanna move some shares here. Might wanna move some shares around. So let's go ahead and do that. I want to get Brooks, Zach Johnson, and DJ together in a lineup. So I want to look at moving my share of Henrik Stenson to maybe, oh, look at this. I have $1,000 left on the table. I can grab Brooks Kepka, right? So if I have, if I want to move shares of a player and I have them in my player pool selected, I can click one of these arrows right here. And because I have $1,000 on the table, it'll give me every option up to my salary cap in my player pool. And in this case, that would be Brooks Kepka. So I can make an, a seamless switch here, add Brooks Kepka into this lineup. And not, it, you see that it already changed the dollars down here. We got, uh, got a little bit lower average ownership. But now when I click that button again, now I have my lineup with all three of them. Haven't changed anything. I've just slightly adjusted, slightly adjusted my exposures here. And then now I'm ready to export. I have all these lineups. So I don't want to change anything. Go ahead and click my export button. You see it adds over here. You can open this and uh, it's already in DK format. You can upload that right to DraftKings. So really, uh, really, really strong stuff from Fanshare and pretty intuitive tool. Uh, you know, click through, or you can't really break it. Uh, you know, you can't do anything wrong to hurt it, but uh, you do need to get, you need to make sure you get you get specific with your ownership exposures and uh, with your pricing tiers and give the computer what it needs to, to you know, accomplish the task that you're asking it to accomplish. But uh, really excited about the uh, the stacking feature here where you can kind of see the see the players and see who's in what lineup stacked together. Uh, also color coded, big fan of color coding and anything when you're dealing with lots of data. But uh, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for us. Oh, last thing, uh, if you want, if you let's say you like all lineups, like three or four of them, you can delete a lineup, click yes, get rid of that one. Let's get rid of this one too. I'm not a big fan of that one. And now I only have my 18 lineups, and I can still click export, and it's only going to export my 18. And you see, with every time I change or update a lineup, it reduces our accuracy because I'm, I'm taking it away from the result. But uh, yeah, guys, great, great new tool from Fanshare.
Uh, the last thing in closing, if you get in here, you have any questions, you're not sure what's going on, if you need help with it, go ahead and click this button right here to get in touch with us. This allows you to send a message right to Andrew and his team over at Fanshare. Uh, they'll, they'll tackle it for you and they'll get back to you ASAP. Uh, they want to make sure that uh, they're developing this tool properly for you. Like I said, uh, we want to get your feedback as well. So um, if you have any questions, concerns, um, comments, whatever, go ahead and drop us a line there uh, so we can improve this tool for you uh, and make new additions as we move forward in the season. But that's going to do it for me at DFS Jimmy signing off for you guys. Make sure you get over to Fanshare Sports, build some lineups this week, win a GPP. Best of luck.